Hey guys, welcome back to DT Light channel. Hope you're all doing great. In this video, we are going to see what is comparable and comparator interface. This is one of the most important interview question and a lot of you will have doubts like when do we go for comparable and when we have to go for comparator interface. This video is all for you guys. So let's get started with the video and check with the help of an example. So here I'm considering two classes. One is for employee and another class is for sorting the employee objects. First, let's declare uh, variables like I'm going to define salary, age and name of employee. For that, I'm going to initialize age, private in salary and also employee name. Let me generate getters and setters. Going to include all the fields. Also, I'm going to generate constructor for setting the values, including all the fields. Also, let me include two string method for printing the values, including all the fields. So that is all. This is how your employee class will look like. So let's go to the main class here. Let me include main method. Okay. So I'm going to create list of employee objects. Employee list equal to new employee. Okay. Employee. I'm going to use array list here. Okay, so now let's create uh, four objects. Like I'm going to create four objects and I'm going to add it in the list. Employee list dot add new employee. Let me pass some fields. Like I'm going to pass age, salary and name. Let me create few more objects and here let me give any random values also let me change the salary any random values you can give just for checking let me change the name also Fine. Okay. So like we can we have created four employee objects and we have added it to the list. Now, if you want to sort the list in ascending order or descending order, we have to use a collections class which we have in Java. So let me include that collections dot sort and you are passing employee list. Okay. So here you are going to get a compilation error. This is because you are not allowed to use this method for sorting list of objects. This is because you can have uh, this method for sorting list of integer class or list of string class. That is because integer class will be implementing comparable interface. I'll show you that for you. So if you go to integer class, as you can see here, integer class is implementing comparable interface. Also, you can check for string class. If you go and check here, it is implementing comparable interface. So for all those classes which are implementing the comparable interface, you can use this collections.sort method for sorting the list of integer class or string class. But if you want to sort the list of objects, you cannot do that. For that, you have to make the class implement comparable interface. Now let's go to employee class. Here you have to implement comparable interface. Passing the employee object. Okay. So you have to override its method, which is compare to. So comparable interface has compare to method and you have to override here. So now if you want to sort 
on any basis like if you want to sort the uh, employee object based on age or based on salary you can uh, do that logic in this compare to method so this compare to method will need two object like like it requires two objects for performing this operation so when you invoke this method employee like when you invoke this class employee class an object is created automatically another object is passed here that is employee o so now if you want to implement the logic you can do here say for example i am including it in a condition this dot get age greater than o dot get age what this statement means is that if the age is like employee uh, object 1 age is greater than employee object 2 age then i'm going to return a positive value say return 1 else i'm going to return a negative integer any values you can specify here like you have to give one positive value and one negative value so this method what this method will do is that it will compare all the age fields and it will be sorted in a ascending order now let's go here and check with the help of for loop employee list employee list now let's print these values and check how it is displaying now let's run this program and see it's taking time here you go so as you can see here the age is sorted in the ascending order like 12, 29, 35 and 45. So that is all. The age is sorted in the ascending order by implementing the comparable interface. Okay. So now let's see what is comparator interface and why do we go for that? If this class is not implementing the comparable interface, say for example, if you are going for any third party libraries, there you cannot go and change in those classes, like you cannot make those classes implement comparable interface. So for that, you can implement comparator interface in this main class itself. For that, you have to, you have to include the object here. Let me pass like, okay. So first, I have to create comparator employee comparator equal to new fine so this is how you are going to include comparator interface so this logic here performed here is same as we performed in a comparable interface the only difference is you are not implementing the comparable interface here in the employee class so whatever you have uh, done in that class, you can do in this class. So same thing I'm going to do here. Let me compare now the salary part. O1 dot get salary greater than O2 dot get salary. So if it is sorted, I'm going to return a positive integer else I'm going to return a negative value. You can pass any negative value, like uh, you can specify any integer. Okay. And what you have to do here is that you have to pass this comparator object into this sort method. That is all. As you can see here, the sort method will accept a list and comparator object. So now, Having sorted this list, let's print this list and check what is the output. There you go. As you can see in the console, the salary is sorted in the ascending order. 300, 1500, 2000 and 2000. So the values are getting displayed in ascending order. Now when we go there and remove this part, it will work perfectly. Now let's remove this completely. 
So you have completely remote comparable interface here and you are just having comparator interface and you are comparing the salary. Now let's rerun the program again. That is all. As you can see the output like the salary is sorted in the ascending order. That is all guys. This is how you have to use comparator and comparable interface in Java. Hope you all liked my video. Hit the like button, share and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you all in my next video. Bye.